Well, she actually sent me a uh, an email yesterday, mm -hmm. um, Angie. Mm -hmm. Very vocal Angie these days. She said, clearly the Academy has its bowling ball in the wrong alley. I strongly disagree with our Academy president. She believes that if you add black members, they'll vote for black members. I, for one, and of many, do not vote black or white. I vote achievement and have many times. And she used 15 exclamation points in the email. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about that? Thought? I think that she's misguided is what I think. The issue here is about inclusion and membership. Right. It is not about her personal choices. I would hope that she and every member of the Academy votes for what they believe is the best achievement in their specific area. That is not the intention of these new rules. The intention, you know, you know this. This is a business, the entertainment business has quite a few people, whether it's music, whether it's television, whether it's film, that have come to Hollywood or in New York, wherever, and you know, have a dream um, to be whatever, you know, fill in the blank, and, um, and probably achieved a certain level of accomplishment, certainly enough to be invited to be an Academy member. And after a while, maybe, for whatever reason, um, they're not active at all in the film business and haven't been for a while. And, you know, I, I do know of uh, people who have gone off into other businesses. And because we have lifetime membership, they get to vote for lifetime. I've had people say to me, I can't believe I get to vote every year. You know, I hardly ever go see any movies. And that's what we are looking at. You know, we're looking at an active membership that is involved in the conversation of film and new filmmakers and new stories, and they come in all ages and sizes, and that's what we want. That's our inclusion. That's what we're about. 